It's 1 p.m. in the afternoon and I am now here in Palangoy where the school is located. And under the heat of the sun, we are going to measure certain objects on which a right triangle can be formed. Hello mga Kamarkimatics! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the new episode of our tutorial vlogs. This is your Matinic teacher, Mr. Mark Jasril P. Blanquisco. In this vlog, we are going to talk about Pythagorean Theorem. So, let's get started. This is Vicente Madrigal Integrated School, formerly known as Vicente Madrigal National High School. Behind me is one of the classrooms for grade 9 students. And I am now here in one of the pathways inside the school premises. And in this vlog, we are going to explore the ancient and fascinating school in Binawanan which was established in 1992. In this tutorial vlogs, you are expected to prove the Pythagorean Theorem and find the missing side of a right triangle. Pythagorean Theorem or Pythagoras Theorem is a fundamental relation in Euclidean geometry among three sides of a right triangle. It states that the sum of the square of the legs A and B is equal to the square of the hypotenuse C. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. The theorem, whose history is the subject of much debate, is named after the name of Greek philosopher Pythagoras, who was born around 570 BC. There is a debate whether the Pythagorean theorem was discovered once or many times in many places, and the date of the first discovery is uncertain, as is the date of the first proof. Historians of Mesopotamian mathematics have concluded that Pythagorean rule was in widespread use during the Old Babylonian period, over a thousand years before Pythagoras was born. But, regardless of where this theorem was originated, we will explore the school and show how Pythagorean theorem is a big help in measuring the missing sides of a right triangle. At my back is the school gymnasium. Let's come inside and see some objects where Pythagorean Theorem can be applied. Let's go! One of the objects inside the school gymnasium is the floor mat. Since, as we can notice, that is rectangular in shape, we can apply the Pythagorean Theorem. So, let's go! Let us measure the length and the width of the floor mat. The length of the floor mat is 4 feet, while its width is 3 feet. Let us compute its diagonal using the Pythagorean theorem. The measurement of the floor mat is 4 by 3 feet. Then, we are going to get the diagonal or the hypotenuse. In order to get the hypotenuse, we are going to use the formula. C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. We can consider 4 feet as A and 3 feet as B. So we will be having 4 squared plus 3 squared. 4 squared is 4 times 4 which is equal to 16 and 3 squared is 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25 and the square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, the value of the diagonal of the floor mat is 5 feet. As we all know, each building has the capacity on which it lasts for specific years. It has been almost 30 years since the school was established. And don't you know that there is one building in the school which is considered as the oldest building in Vicente Madrigal Integrated School? Let's go and see how a 27-year-old building looks like. This one-story building at my left is the Inares Building. 
and this is considered as the oldest building in the school. Don't you know that it was built in the year 1994? I was just two years older than this building. And this is where our faculty room was located. Come and join me and see what we can flex there. Let's go! One of the objects that we can see inside this room is the teacher's table. As we all know, Pythagorean theorem can be applied in rectangular shape. So, let us measure the teacher's table. The dimension of the teacher's table measures 2 by 4 feet respectively. So let us use the Pythagorean theorem in order to solve the diagonal of the teacher's table. The dimension of the table is 2 by 4 feet. Then, let us compute the diagonal of the table. Again, in order to compute for the diagonal or the hypotenuse, we will be using the formula C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Substituting the values of the legs, we will be having 2 squared plus 4 squared. 2 squared is equal to 4 and 4 squared is equal to 16. 4 plus 16 is equal to 20. We can still simplify 20 by getting the factors of 20 which are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. Among these factors, we are going to use the pairs with perfect square and that is 4 and 5 which means we can rewrite the square root of 20 as 4 times 5. Then the square root of 4 is equal to 2 and we're left with the square root of 5 inside the radical symbol. And that is the value of the hypotenuse. 2 is square root of 5 feet. Everyone is hoping for a face-to-face -face classes after being in a work-from-home setup for almost two years. When school year 2021-2022 fast approaches, we were given specific rooms just in case a face-to-face -face classes will be approved. But due to the increasing number of COVID cases in our community, it was not made possible. And honestly, I just saw my classroom once. Let's visit and see my classroom and see how it looks like. I am now here inside my classroom and it makes me feel sad that there are no students and no chairs inside my classroom and we were left with the only object that we can use in my study and that is the green board. So join me in measuring the dimensions of the green board. Let's go! The dimension of the green board is 4 by 8 feet respectively. Let us compute the diagonal of the green board using the Pythagorean theorem. The dimension of the green board is 4 by 8 feet. Again, let us compute the diagonal of the green board or the hypotenuse. We will be using the formula C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Substituting the values of the legs, we have 4 squared plus 8 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16 and 8 squared is equal to 64. 16 plus 64 is equal to 80. Again, we can still simplify 80. Let us get the factors of 80. We have 1 and 80, 2 and 40, 4 and 20, 5 and 16, then 8 and 10. Among these factors, we are going to choose the pair with perfect square. We have 4 and 16, but we are going to choose the larger perfect square, which is 16. Which means we can rewrite 80 as 16 times 5. The square root of 16 is equal to 4, and we're left with the square root of 5 inside the radical symbol. Therefore, this is the value of the hypotenuse, 4 is square root of 5 feet, which means that is the measurement of the diagonal of the green board, 4 is square root of 5 feet. Pythagorean theorem has loads of application in real life. It can be a useful technique for construction and navigation. 
In architecture, it allows you to calculate the length of a diagonal connecting two straight lines. In a two-dimensional navigation, you can use the two lengths to find the shortest distance. And that ends our tutorial vlogs about Pythagorean Theorem, featuring my beloved school, Vicente Madrigal Integrated School. I have high hopes that you find this vlog educational and interesting. I am your Mathedic teacher, Mr. Marcia P. Blanquisco, and asking you to subscribe on my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for more math tutorial vlogs. Thank you!